Hey guys, welcome back to Horror Portrait. I'm Julian. I'm Kathy, and today's episode is Widowmaker. Oh my god. Woo, 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 woo. I think I that's, a keeper. that's a keeper. That's a keeper. So Widowmaker, she's a sniper. Yeah. A badass sniper. You want to tell the backstory? So Widowmaker was a uh, um, the wife of a Overwatch member, and she was, I believe, she was kidnapped and brainwashed and turned into a sleeper agent and then returned to Overwatch. And then one night she murdered her husband. I'm gonna try that again and actually pronounce it properly. Then one night she murdered her husband. Um, I'm drunk. And she went back to them. They did tests on her and basically lowered her heartbeat so much that that's why she's blue. Yeah. So that she wouldn't like, her aim was steadier. Talon. Talon was the name. Yeah. And her name was Amelie. What we're gonna try to do with this series, well this photo shoot, is do more of like a film noir thing. It's gonna be fairly either monochromatic or yeah. we're gonna we're gonna definitely just kind of tone down the overall colors of the shoot. But the kind of the moment in her story that we want to recreate is the moment where the moment immediately after she assassinates her husband. Yeah. So there's gonna be a slightly darker photo shoot than the rest, most probably, both thematically and literally. Um, why? What? I, I can't I, laugh. No, I'm you laughing. cannot. No, You're you a cannot. funny person, Julian. So we took inspiration from this costume because we want to um, kind of have her in a like, I don't, we didn't really decide on the trench coat thing, but we were thinking like trench coat with lingerie underneath, like a white lingerie. They're back at the motel at night and she's put something on to seduce him to, to bed and then murders him in bed, right? Um, oh, so, but then do you want a dead body next to her? So that was one of my thoughts. We could. We could do that. We just need like just someone. Many, you know, some kind of, some stump off the street, you know? <laughs> No, but okay. <laughs> we should take other shots without him where she's like, like we had mentioned, like at a window lit from the outside, like looking into the scope. That'd be dope. Something, an element that I want to throw into the story that doesn't actually exist in the story. Okay. But let's take creative liberties, whoa, is uh, that she stole the sniper rifle from her husband. In that way, we're almost telling a story in the three images, mm -hmm. but each one stands alone, right? In this part of the story, she doesn't have purple skin yet, but you can't have Widowmaker without referencing the purple. I want to have the accents all around the room to be done with purple light. I want to do like window slat lighting coming in. Well, that the, might be hard. The wide shot is going to be definitely a very carefully posed shot. And well, the the wide would be what when she just killed him and when he's she's on maybe the at bed? the foot of the bed or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and she's, maybe she's smoking she's, a cigarette. What a badass! Huh? I'm writing it down. And then we would have one closer, like a medium type thing, where she has the thing with the slat lighting. Yeah. Oh, so we save the slat lighting for the close up, it'd be a lot easier. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, let's do that. Why would, I mean, yes, you could do slat lighting further. No, nope. like nope. I, I nope. saw it more. No I saw it more. You said it. So, what props do we need? Let's write, like, do you have the list of props I already you already have? List. What do we have? So, we have uh, like white lingerie with frills lace the white shoes with a potentially white ribbon for around the legs, maybe a trench coat, like, to be decided. We need a s sniper and a gun oh, with a boy. silencer, so that's gonna be fun. You have a sniper rifle? Sniper rifle? Sniper rifle? No one? Fresh out? Okay. Useless, you both. If anything, there's also like an airsoft spot literally on, like, down the street from here. So that's it. Widowmaker, done. So I have some really cool ideas for Widowmaker for this for this photo shoot. But first, I'm really excited to announce who our model for this shoot is. Not announce, not announcing. Let's start again. So Carly Woods is a model slash cosplayer slash streamer based out of Toronto. She has been amazing. Um, one of the most professional people I've ever had the chance to communicate with via email. <laughs> Did a little bit of research. I'm going to make the most. DIY um, film noir lighting you've ever seen. Basic Witch! Basic Witch, welcome to my workshop. <laughs> we 
we're gonna make a snoot out of this. A snoot is a little thing that focuses the light uh, and just make it go everywhere. So, Pringles. Second thing, we're gonna make our own Venetian blinds, cause I don't have Venetian blinds, and neither do you. Step one, dump your Pringles. Working hard or eating Pringles? Here's looking at you, kid. Fire me. Just ram it in there. Oh yeah. And that, my friends, is what we call the Pringly Snoot. Now you might be wondering, why do I have two pieces of black paper? Well, fun fact, there's three pieces of black paper. Second, is because I'm probably gonna screw up. Am I using blue pen on black? I sure am. <laughs> Going nuts, going nuts, going nuts, he's going nuts. What's wrong with you? He's gone nuts. Perfection. I have found an exact replica of Carly Woods. Pun intended. Hitting one of her most popular poses. Eh? To it, the idea um, I had, which meshed with what Julian had in mind also, was in terms of how she would look, um, was going to be very like femme fatale, film noir genre, like 1940s. Hedy Lamarr was like one of the inspirations I looked up, kind of like dark, mysterious woman. There's going to be a scene where she's poisoning. Uh, a drink. We have some glass bottles for that. I have the ribbons. I have a sheer vintage nightgown. For look wise, it's going to be very dark lips, pretty light on the eyes. Um, if anything, we would do a smoky eye, but I'm still debating on whether I want to do that or not. But definitely like a dark red, almost black lip, probably. So come along with us again, and I'll show you the clothing that we're going to wear. Catchphrase. Catchphrase. Come along with us. Don't look at my closet. But, anyways. I brought like, um, kind of like a nighty type thing that could possibly work if we wanted to go in that direction, but we're probably going to keep like the corset. There's a robe that goes with it. It's like a solid silk robe. But this is the, the nightgown that my friend Rochelle let me very kindly. The whole bottom is sheer and there's this front panel and it ties and it also we can use the ribbon from the other one to tie it. And uh, it's just like super gorgeous, like sheer in the back as well. It'll be cool to just maybe like have uh, in one of the shots like her legs sticking out and you'll have the, the ribbons around her leg. And the little bottles. I don't know how good this is showing up. It could make a sound that makes me sad. <laughs> and we'll probably have it be like purple or green or maybe we'll decide on set I'll just bring like a bunch of different colors so we're gonna have try to like maybe have her pouring it and like you see it like spreading out kind of like ink into the water so a lot of the looks are very like dark lip she doesn't have much on the lids but there's like a slight winged liner and like pretty deep uh, kind of medium heavy on the brows this was pretty big inspo we're gonna try to make a shot like this on set just like Hedy Lamar picks. Can you give me another another talk? Talking. Hello, hello, hello. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then go like louder. Hi, 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 hi. It's <laughs> good. That was good. Hey guys, my name is Carly Woods. I am a Twitch streamer and a cosplayer from Toronto, Canada. That make me look fierce af. Now, exactly. Fierce af. Say, That's say that. True, that is. Say that. that don't say af because we're old and not black. hip. Yeah. We, we say, say af. I originally was obsessed with zombies. Um, I was a huge George Romero fan, and I read the Walking Dead comics like. 
10 years before anyone knew what they were. My brother invited me to my first convention, to my first Comic Con. He said that you can meet your favorite actors, you can get your Walking Dead comics signed by the authors and everything like that. So I ended up going, fell in love with it, and fell in love with cosplay. And so after film school, I created a YouTube series called Geek and Gorgeous with my brother and his fiance. We went to different conventions, filming B-roll, interviewing people, and that's when I started interviewing cosplayers and realized that people do that as a living. And I ended up going back to school for fashion, learned how to sew, and now I'm a content creator online and yeah, I get to do it full time. It's pretty crazy. I get to mix everything that I love. So, first shot. I mean, I've already mostly set this up, but I thought, so we're gonna start with a wine. Body lying on the bed. She's in front. Mm -hmm. We'll try it with the fake cigarette. Mm -hmm. Kind yeah, of like fake a... fake cigarette too? Yeah, kind of like a... I just committed a murder stance. Good. I know that's how I stand. That's it. <laughs> what we could do is maybe have her sitting on the edge of the couch. Then the, we can bring this lamp around over here. Yeah. And then near the windows, we have a vertical. Oh, and the that's with a glass of wine. The glass, yeah. Yeah. Put some, some poise. Some poise. Some poise. Some poise. poise. And then the other one will be shot against it. Yeah. So we have horizontal, vertical, horizontal. I feel like with what I do, it's really great because it's a big circle. It's a creative process of being inspired about something and then it's actually shopping for the products, making the costume, shooting the costume, going through all the pictures, editing all the footage and then putting it on social media and then maybe going to a convention wearing the costume and then it's doing it all over again. Now I do not support guns, but this is pretty cool. <laughs> My first ever cosplay was Black Canary when I went to my first fan expo with my brother and um, it was just a closet cosplay, things I had in my closet that I threw together. And then my first cosplay that I actually ever made was Katana from Mortal Kombat. There's no photos online of that because it's horrible. I would say my first real costume that I was proud of would have to be my TARDIS tutu, which then created Team Tutu, and that is what I'm known for, is making tutus, and I have about 15 tutus. And R2-D2, or R2-2-2, is my most popular one. Vape in for the picture. I'm sorry, I'm oh, Vape it up. Three, two, oops, that was uh, premature. I would say I am a casual retro gamer. I, I am a very horrible gamer. <laughs> um, I play Overwatch and really want to get into H1Z1. I do still play my Game Boy Advance. I play Mario on that still. Is that cool though? Is it cool now to like travel around with like a Game Boy Advance with like the back has like crumbs in it and it's like falling off? I don't even have the battery case anymore. <laughs> it's disgusting. I'm going down, going. Past my bedtime. Yes, I do go to bed at nine o'clock. This is the thing about cosplay, is that you can put on a costume and completely change who you are from reality and be their personality and take over their persona. And that's what I love about cosplay so much because I feel like I'm the complete opposite of Widowmaker in real life. My favorite characters to play are definitely villains because I feel like they're the complete opposite of me. So getting to play that for a day is fun. What are we gonna name her? I don't know, does she have a name? I don't know, Sasha? Okay, hold on, I need to switch way. So you're gonna be pointing it past the, isn't it dope? Yes, it's really dope. I'm really against guns, but this is really fun. <laughs> Anybody can cosplay. It doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter how old you are. If you have the love for a certain character from a comic book, from a movie, from from a novel, from anything that you really, really like, you can cosplay it. It's about having fun. It's about you know being inspired by something that you really love and getting to, again, leave reality and come into this really cool safe world where everybody is having fun. Halloween's fun, but imagine doing that not on Halloween. Like, again, twice in a year or three times in a year. It's a lot of fun. On a scale from, this is the greatest experience you've ever had in your life, yeah, to I regret ever even <laughs> oh God, don't ask answering an email to yeah. these people. Is, is, is 10 the greatest and zero? Is that your answer, 10? Yes! <laughs> it was on a scale from one to a thousand, so... Ten. Ten's pretty bad. <laughs> Ninety-nine. Oh, sorry. So technically... thought you meant a hundred. Add one more nine. You heard it here, folks. We're ninety-nine out of a thousand. <laughs>
That's what we strive, strive for here in Beehive Production. Just 19 <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Heroic Portrait. Please subscribe to our YouTube and check out the description below for our links to our Twitch and Instagram and Facebook for the images.